Welcome back to Clickers Pro Team Interviews. We've caught up with three more of our athletes, Nicholas Simpson, Joe Ground and Jack Maysfield. Nice to see you all. I just want to run through quickly. How do you prepare for a tournament like this? What do you do in the week before? If we start with you, Jack. Uh, well, normally I just start shooting a load of rounds of what I'll do over the weekend so I can understand what, I, what level I'm currently at so not to expect too much or ba a basic understanding of how the weekend will go. Jack, anything to that? Again, kind of the same thing, shooting the rounds that you're going to shoot, but as well as just kind of shooting rounds, doing like, say, if you're shooting a feet or 18, just doing like dozen matches with yourself and kind of matching yourself against what kind of scores you're, you're shooting. And do you feel that that's, that's beneficial? Can you see that sort of practice coming through in the competition? I think it definitely helps because you'll be shooting that kind of round in the competition and, and as much preparation you can get as shooting similar rounds to that is going to help you no end, so. Is that a similar situation for you, Nicola? Yeah, of course. Uh, I go along with what the boys saying. Um, the more you practice these head-to-heads and timing and all that, it helps all along. That's what we do in their club. We um, have match plays against each other, which is always a good help. But at certain points throughout the day, are there points when you think something isn't quite working and you have to you have to change it when you have a break? You sit back and think, maybe I'm going to do something tactically different throughout the day. Is that something that comes into play? Uh, quite, yeah, quite often. I think it's experience that comes in here, and um, because uh, if something does go wrong in a tournament, what I do basically is go back to my basics, standing position, hand position, all that, and then you, you go through that on a couple of ends, and then it starts clicking back into action again, which is good. Equipment-wise for this tournament, can you run us through your current setup and what you're what you're trying out? Are you trying anything new or? Um, no, I'm just waiting for my new podium X to come. Um, I got a Pro Elite. Um, with um, the uh, GTX cams, um, I've had it now for over 18 months, which is a really nice bow. And I, I do like the cams because it's not too harsh, and it's not that sloppy bit on the thing, so it's really good. Nice balance. Yeah, nice, nice balance. balance. Yeah. And what about you, Jack? Uh, I've done more tuning with my arrows just to make sure they're spot on for the tournament, but I'm still shooting what the winner winner shot in the uh, in the summer because I know it's trustworthy and it kind of works. What about you, Joe? Yeah, I'm, I'm still shooting all the same equipment. I've got some new limbs uh, since my last interview where I've, I've just gone up in poundage. But apart from that, we're exactly the same. So is it an opportunity for you to troll this stuff out at these tournaments in a, you know, in a competitive situation as opposed to just practicing at home? I don't think it's really the, the best idea to try new equipment um, at a competition, especially if you haven't trolled it for... Know, a number of hours on the practice field first because I think you've, you've really got to know what you're going into the competition with and how it's going to perform so you know if there is a problem is it the equipment is it you so Jack your your training routine in general are there certain aspects that you you particularly focus on at the moment there's certain things that you think have helped you in, in the past you know a few years uh, well, I think a lot of the S&C training has really helped me progress um, through the archer career because I think technically I was I wasn't brilliant I wasn't perfect but I was fairly good at it, it was just the strength that was holding back and the poundage and having more control throughout the shot and I think the gym work has really helped to improve the shot and get the scores I have and working up in poundage and during the winter it's been kind of the time of year when you really want to start hitting that and building yourself up for the outdoor season. So it's competition time, it's very busy. Outside the world of archery, how do you unwind, how do you relax? Uh, I try to get out, see my friends, have as much social life as I can to really relax and unwind and lose that kind of competitive mindset that I have throughout the week while training. And when you're at a competition you obviously have breaks in between, is it the same sort of thing then? Do you want to you know, forget about archery completely to relax or do you have to stay focused so you're ready when you come back? Uh, I try to, uh, in terms of consuming food while on my break, I try to consume foods like nuts that will help the body relax but in terms of my mindset I want to stay focused and I don't want to kind of uh, lose, the, lose the ball and then you know, come back into it and try and get back into that mindset. I want to be able to stay in that so I can go back into shooting focused. And Nicola, what's what's your training schedule like? How do you sort of prepare for a competition like this, you know, the week before or, you know, further back? Um, like yesterday was a back to back, so um for that we know it's less time. So I've been focusing on shooting quicker on the actual shot because ninety seconds is does tend to go quick <laughs> and it's fast and furious so we've been practicing that in the club as well um, so that was really helpful for today because then you've got lots of time then to concentrate on a good shot today so 
lots of factors what the competition you're actually going to do actually in the club you know and when you have sort of breaks in between rounds what do you do then do you have to stay focused or do you like to forget about actually relax just to you know unwind yeah just unwind and talk to your friends keep happy yeah always don't think about what you've just done think of you know just be happy and just talk to your friends and away from competitions how do you how do you relax then and unwind do you, i know you have to do a lot of shooting, a lot of practicing, but what do you do outside of archery? Um, I do kettlebells, um, so that keeps me fit, but I really enjoy it as well as a, as a sport. That's the only sport I have actually, or fitness training I've actually enjoyed, so I enjoy doing that twice a week. Um, I love going to the pub. As we all do. <laughs> yeah, a couple of times a week, so, and, and generally seeing my grandchildren as well. I've got enough of them, I've got six. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those sort of things. So Nicola, You've got a lot of experience in archery. Is there any advice that you think would be vital to young archers, aspiring young archers, that would really help them to, you know, help push their career forward? To enjoy. I think that's the main thing, is to enjoy and don't get too upset if you had a bad international experience because a week later you will learn so much what went on in that particular tournament and you get so much back. And if you enjoy it, you're going to shoot better. That's all I can say is just go out there and enjoy it and have fun. Right, so who are your role models in the sport? i got to say Brady Ellison just because of just because of how he shoots and how good he is and how relaxed he stays in competition. and Also how he's also quite a cheerful, warm character. Like he'll go, he'll sign autographs, he'll take photos, where you get some archers. They shoot well and they've got a nice composed like um, mental attitude, but they don't want to kind of interact with people that you know, like fans and such and such. Okay. Role model? I don't really have a specific role model, more kind of role models. Like the, a lot of the Korean archers, the way they shoot, like they're really disciplined and they won't let kind of anything else change how they shoot on the, on the line. They'll just kind of do what they do best. Nicola? Mine has always been Petra Eriksson um, from Sweden. Um, she's just a marvellous shooter. She shoot top compound and then she went to recurve again and then she went back to compound and she was still on top marvelous well, that's it from team clicks here thanks nicola joe and jack thank you thank you very much and thank you and good shooting everybody